All right, so I want to make this video about how I'm able to grow continuously. Because I just grow continuously, right? But how I'm able to do this is by letting go of who I think I am. Because I think back like 10 years ago, I thought I was who I was then. Just like right now, I think I am who I am now. <clears throat> but who I am can still change. But the reason why I can still change is because I've accepted the change. A lot of people just accept who they are and they turn away the change. They're like, no, change, go that way. <clears throat> because, you know, that famous saying, oh, this is just who I've always been. You know, this is just who I am. This is who I've always been. And it's like, but that's not who you have to be. And I don't think we realize that. Like, so many people don't realize you don't have to be whoever you are. You're just probably attached to who you are because it's comfortable to be something that you're used to instead of going into the unknown. But I learned this from my DMT trips, just learning how to let go to it and let it take you. So I let go to the change and I let it take me because it's just, it's taking me somewhere, right? And I could see it. Like I can literally see my own growth and <clears throat> I'm like, well, I wouldn't have been able to grow like that if I didn't like work on learning how to just let growth happen, let change happen. People don't like change, but it's like, well, I like change. People hate DMT. I'm like, well, I like DMT. <laughs> like, people hate bad trips. I'm like, well, I like bad trips. Like, because I let go to whatever is. So if what is is some rough shit I'm going through in a trip, up oh, it is what it is. Got to deal with it. Like, because it just is what is. So, like, the change happens when you're like, this is not how, how it has to be. Like, it is what is, but who you are as a person, your thoughts, your, whether you're in shape or not, whether you're mentally healed or not, whether you're mentally strong or not, like, these can change. They might be what they are, but we can change them. And if we allow the change, change becomes just what it is. <clears throat> Instead of people being like, this is who I am, this is who I've always been, fucking dropping the mic. Instead of people being like, this is who I am, this is who I've always been, they, you can be like, no, change is what is. Change is what has always been. Because it really has. Like, from times we're a baby, up until we're 18, we grow. But like, <clears throat> if at 18, we think we stop growing. But we only stop growing because we think we stop growing. And at 18, we then fight the change and we try to just be whatever we are at 18. And so many people get stuck being that, whatever they were at 18, just older. But you can grow continuously. <clears throat> That's why I say I just want to grow until the day I die. Because I've seen something. Like, I've seen, I'm like, bro, I've raised a kid <clears throat> i've seen her grow and she's continuously growing and i'm like why do we stop growing we think we stop growing when our body stops growing but we are not the body so just because the body stopped growing that don't mean shit and it really hasn't like i don't know, maybe for women but like <clears throat> i mean maybe even not because like i was gonna say like for men like i I've seen men, like, just continuously grow, like, until they're, like, 40 or 50. Like, people that work out continuously, or people that didn't even start working out until they were 30, or people that didn't even, like, <clears throat> it's not just me. I'm not the only person that continuously grows. I just look at it a little differently, because I got into this from psychedelics. So, like, growing my mind first, growing my spiritual connection first, growing... Like, all, like, the connection with self first. I did that first. And then I started growing my body. 
Like, but regardless, like I look at life and I'm like, whether it's financial, like, cause I still have financial growth I need to work on, which was going to take me like 10, 15, 20, like that's the next 20 years of my life type shit. Like I look at it like, bro, I'll never stop growing. That's why I say, I just want to grow until the day I die. Like, I want to grow my mind until the day I die. I want to grow my body until the day I die. I want to grow my spirituality until the day I die. Like, the connections with my family and my loved ones until the day I die. I want to grow and get better at making music until the day I die. Like, I just want to grow, which is why growth, like, attracts to me. It's literally like the law of attraction. Because I want growth, it's there. Like, it's what I want. And people say, like, how are you able to continuously grow? And my question is, do you want to grow? Like, truly, like, deep down in your soul, are you sick and tired of being who you are? Are you sick and tired of being the person that the world told you to be? Because if you are, then you can... Begin the growing process, accepting the change. Because if you're sick and tired of what is, you're like, oh, that thing over there, oh, that's change. I've been avoiding that. But like, I'm sick and tired of what's in my face, so I might as well try that. Like, that's what I mean. You have to accept it. And then you have to let go of the other thing. You need to let go of the, the, this is who I am. This is who I've always been. This is who I was raised to be. I'm this because my skin color is this way. I'm this because I was in this, I was raised this way. I'm, it, okay, that's great. But those are all things you do not have to be. You can change. It is just so hard because then you have to let go of what you think you are. And then you have to accept that you're in the unknown. Like, cause once you let go of what you think you are, you're then left with nothing. It's like you're back to the nothingness. But that nothingness can then become something again, but it's going to take time. So, like, you let go of who you think you are. Like, I thought I was that gangster thug, dude. No, it's like you let go. And then I'm in this middle period. Like, you could see it in my videos. Like, probably, like, 2017. Like, the videos from 2017 or 2018. Um, You can see it. that It's a middle version of what I am now and what I used to be. And because it was like, it's like being in limbo. I don't know how to explain it. Like, I was just st stuck because I was no longer who I used to be, but I wasn't who I am now either. So it was this period of everything got shitty. Like, because that's the thing. It's so hard to let go because it's going to get a little worse before it gets better. Like, no matter what it is, it's going to get worse before it gets better. So... If you work on learning how to just accept that, <clears throat> like accept that, yeah, it's probably going to get worse before it gets better. Yeah, um, like if you started working out and you accepted that, oh, I'm probably not going to see any results for the next two to three, four years. If you accepted that, then you would just do it without even thinking about it. Instead, people start working out for six months, they see no results, then they start thinking, oh, maybe my testosterone levels are low, or maybe I just need some TRT or some steroids or some more, more creatine, or like they start thinking they need more things instead of just accepting that it probably is going to take longer than they expected. And quick results go away quickly. Like results that take a while stay for a while. So that's what I wanted. I wanted to be able to like grow, but then be, I wanted to be sustainable. Like I, it took me six years to actually get in shape, but because of that it took a while to get in shape. So it's going to take a while to not get in shape. Meaning I could stop working out for the next three months. I will not look any different. The only difference is I won't grow anymore, but I'm not going to lose my muscles. I'm not going to lose my abs. I'm not going to lose these things just because I stopped working out because the way I worked out was more calisthenics and more 
like functional workouts and for longevity so therefore it's like my body will be in shape for a while whether i work on it or not but like i just like working out now because i like the growth process like i just like the whole thing because I don't want to be too big. That's why, like, I don't take creatine or and no, nothing against creatine. Like, one day I might take creatine, but I know I will never take TRT and I know I will never take steroids. But um, the reason why is because I want to be able to constantly grow, but slowly. And I don't want to be too big, like, because I want everything to catch up. Like, if I'm starting to get a little, my arms are getting bigger, then my punch can get slower. So then I can work on my punches so they can get back to speed. <clears throat> like, I don't know, bro. It's just I have this thing where I know what I want and other people, it's like you got to know what you want. Do you want to grow? I knew I didn't want to be who I was. So that's why it was like, fuck this shit. I was easy to let go because I was like, I don't give a fuck. Like... I don't want that. I don't want to be this. I don't want to think like this. I don't want to say the N word all the time. I don't want to, whatever the fuck, like all that change that had to happen within myself. It was me looking at myself being like, okay, well, what's that like over there? I wonder what it would be like if I actually tried something different. If I actually started doing things differently. If I actually started thinking differently. If I, and then it's like, I went down the shamanic psychedelic path. And I'm like, yo, I wonder what would happen if I actually integrated, like actually applied the knowledge that the psychedelics are giving me to my actual life. So that's why now it's like when I'm sober, it's like I am a walking, talking psychedelic trip now. Like I became like true integration is when you become the psychedelic like. Because I don't need the psychedelics to, like, I get it now, but I use them as tools still, but it's this whole thing where it's like, I now see. It's like, you learn from a teacher, then you apply the knowledge. You learn how to let go, then you can grow. Because if you learn how to let go, you can then accept what is next, or what could be. And then you have to start thinking, because growth requires you to think about, well, who do you want to grow into? Because you already tried the unconscious thing, just letting life, you know, do whatever. And like, then if you grew up in the hood, you became a hood type dude. If you grew up in the suburbs, you became a suburb type dude. Like if you grew up in the country, you become a country type dude, but that's great. But like, if you don't consciously become who you want to be, you become a stereotype and not in a bad way, just in a real way. Like, there's a reason why stereotypes kind of are real. Like, they fit. Um, there's a reason for that. And, like, you're the one that has to choose to change. And then you have to accept it as it comes. And how I'm able to continuously change is by not getting my ego in the way. So, like, my ego wants to whatever, but no, it's great. I am who I am. It's great. I'm in shape now, but I can always get better. It's great. I'm getting better, but I still have so much things to work on. So I just work on those things like continuously and understanding that if I keep working on those things, the man that I've worked so hard to build might also change a little bit. So I might continuously change. And I accepted that. And by not holding on tightly to who I am, like, it's like, oh, no, I've worked hard to build myself, I've worked, look at my mindset now, and look at this now, and that's great, bro, but, like, you can still, that whole shit could change up in an instant, well, in a year or two, but, like, that, that's the thing, I just let go, and I accept that it is just what is, like, I say this all the time, but I just want to grow like the flowers do, and the reason why I say that is because flowers just grow, bro. Like, imagine if the flower could think to itself, you know, while it has four leaves, if the fl little flower just has four leaves, it it's going to grow, like, 20 more leaves, and then some flowers, and then whatever. But imagine if it was like, no, I just want to stay in my four leaves. This is who I am. I'm four, I, I'm a flower, I'm a plant, 
with four leaves on it. And it's like, yeah, but you can grow your, the next two leaves, and then you can grow some more. <laughs> and you can eventually grow your flowers. But so many people stop growing before their flowers bloom. Meaning, so many people never get to see their flower. They never get to see what they could have truly became if they just accepted the change instead of accepting who they are. Like, we can grow. But, thank you guys for watching.